Mom, do not watch this video. Do not watch this video, Mom. Hi, you guys. It's Yuli from Yuli and Ernesto. And today I'm going to be talking about my worst grinder hookup ever. Also, please excuse my appearance. I just got back from the gym um, and remembered that I had to record this video for this week. So I'm a little sweaty um, and sorry. First things first, some exciting news that happened this week was that we created an Instagram page um, called Yuli and Ernesto right here. So please go follow us. Um, I'll put the link to the Instagram down below. We'll probably be posting really um, disgusting, gushy boyfriend photos. So if you're interested in that, go follow us and show us some love. Okay, now down to the nitty gritty. I think it goes without saying, but I'll mention it just in case. This was a very long time ago before I met Ernesto when I was still a single lady. It probably happened like six years ago and it is stuck with me since. So, um, I was visiting my friend Rebecca in San Diego. She lived in a place called PB, Pacific Beach and it's right on the ocean, and it's very bro-y and very dudette-y, but I was still excited to see my friend Rebecca, so we went out to the bars and the clubs with a group of friends. Um, although I was having a lot of fun with them, um, there wasn't a lot of potential for me to meet someone, since um, there wasn't a lot of like gay men in that area. So, I get on Grindr, and I'm talking to a couple guys in the area, you know, visiting is what I say. Everyone likes that because it means you don't have to commit to anybody because they're leaving. Anyways, so um, I'm on Grindr and I'm like talking to this guy. He's super cute. I'm like, okay, okay, PB. He's super close to us. Like it's a very small city and obviously Grindr, you, you know, everyone's super close to you. So I ended up talking to him and we made plans to meet up that night when I was done hanging out with my friends. I want to say it was like 2 a.m. and we're back at Rebecca's place and she passes out um, after eating like a burrito. She's not gonna like that I mentioned that. After she passes out, I'm like, I'm gonna go meet up with this guy. Thankfully, he lives so close that I was able to walk to his place and when I get there, he opens the door and he looked like his photos, which was a huge relief. I've had times before when I've showed up to someone's place and they did not look like their pictures or it was a picture that was taken like 10 years ago. Anyways, he looked like his photos, so I was like, okay, this guy's cute. I'm gonna come in and see what this is about. We're sitting in his living room, we're drinking, um, we're talking and you know, then kissing starts to happen and you know heavy petting in certain locations and things are revving up and I'm excited and it's good so then he invites me into his bedroom we get into the bedroom and like he throws me on the bed and I'm like yes take me and <laughs> and like I'm on top of him and we're making out and like you know clothes are starting to come off and he's like Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. And I'm like, what, what, let's go. And he's like, do you want to smoke? And I was like, oh, um, you know, my brother just started smoking weed and I've been kind of against him smoking weed and I feel like, you know, like I would be kind of a hypocrite if I started smoking when I told, told my brother that he shouldn't be smoking weed. I will say this, this was a very long time ago. I have since changed my perspective on weed, just so you know. Things have changed, let's just say. So then he was like, oh no, 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 it's not weed. And I was like, oh, oh, you know, I don't really smoke cigarettes, to be honest with you. Sometimes I'll smoke occasionally when I'm, when I'm drunk, but I'm not in the mood for a cigarette right now. Oh, no, 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 it's not a cigarette, it's crystal. 
Crystal. It's crystal meth. Oh. Oh. Crystal meth. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Th no, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. No, I don't need crystal meth. Thank you so much for the offer though. Oh, are you sure? I'm 100% sure. I do not want to smoke. Yeah, crystal meth. <laughs> I'm 100% sure. Thank you so much though for offering, but like, I'm cool. So good. Oh, okay, well, do you mind if I do it? And I was like, no. I mean, you do you, but I'm not gonna do it, but you do you. He's like, okay. He like throws me off of him and I'm like, oh wait, come back. And then he goes into his nightstand and he takes out the like little specific pipe and then he takes out a lighter and I just like sit there <laughs> awkwardly because I don't know what to do. And he starts smoking and I'm just like sitting there waiting for him to finish. And then he's like, oh, are you like, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to smoke? And I'm like, yeah, no, thank you, um, but I'm sure. I'm sure. He's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do a little more then. And so then he does more, and then he's like, oh, you would look so good on meth. And then he blows it in my face. I'll repeat, he blows it in my face. I kid you not. It like all happened in slow motion. You would look so good on meth. And I was like, ah! <laughs> And I like got up immediately and I was like, um, that's not okay. I'm gonna go. You're making me uncomfortable. And so then I just got my stuff and I walked out and I walked back to Rebecca's. And I was just like, so weirded out and like thinking, did someone really just blow crystal meth into my face? Am I gonna get a contact high? What does you look so good on crystal meth mean? I would say in retrospect, I think as soon as he wanted to do meth, I should have probably have left. But I think being young and being drunk and being super horny. You'd be surprised what you would do when you're horny. I was like, okay, you do your thing and then we're still gonna hook up and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna get off. That did not happen. So, that's it. <laughs> that is probably my worst grinder hookup story ever because I didn't end up getting to hook up anyways and um, someone blew um, hardcore drugs into my face. I would say that that's pretty bad. I have had like, you know, a plethora of other grinder hookup stories where like, you know, the, like I got catfished and that was awkward or like the sex in general was not, you know, what you anticipate it to be. But this one I think takes the cake. But now I don't have to worry about that because I got a man. That, that was too much. I'm sorry, that was too much. Anyways, please like, please subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this story and got to know a little bit more about me and my past. <laughs> and please comment down below what your worst grinder hookup story was. And we'll compare notes. Okay, see you next week, you guys. Bye.